In this tutorial, I will show you how to go from this with all the flickering and glitches to this whilst keeping your motion blur effect. All this will be done in Blender 4.0. So the major culprit for this is geometry nodes. But to be sure that your issue is caused by geometry nodes, there are a few things I want us to do. So the first thing I want you to do is to head over to your folder that has your single images that you exported in preparing for your animation. So mine, I come over here. I know that my 23 and 21 have the issue. So 23 has this issue over here with this whole nasty thing going on. The same with 21. So I'll come in here, my blender. So those are the frames that I'll just cross check whilst I'm fixing to see if it's actually reflecting. So select your image, okay? So if I come in here and I go to render and I go to render animation, you can see that it has these nasty things going over here. And I'm rendering the animation for just one single frame, that's 21. That is one of the frames giving me that issue. So what you can do now is to select whatever mesh has the geometry nodes activated. So for my, it is the ground or the floor. So if I come to geometry nodes, you can see that I have geometry nodes set up for the floor. If I select the head of this character, nothing, this nothing, the legs, nothing. But if I select the floor, I have my geometry nodes. So now let's come back to layouts. Now this is very important before we move on to the next step. Okay, so you want to make sure that your file, you've made a copy of it, okay, because we are going to be applying a modifier. So in my case, the floor has the geometry nodes modifier. So select that whatever mesh has the geometry nodes applied, come to modifier and then apply it. But as I said, make sure that you, you've saved this file, you have a copy of it, so that in case you want to go back and do something, you are not stuck, okay? So save a copy of your file, then come here to your mesh, select the mesh that has the geometry nodes, come down to geometry nodes, select this and then apply. So now once you're done applying that, let's go and then cross check. I already have my stubborn or difficult frames in here for the start and the end. Go to render, then go to render animation. And then there we have it. We have our motion blur effect still happening, but then those glitches are no longer there. Just to cross check, let me undo the application of the modifier. So it's back and then we come to render and the render animation and then the glitches are back. So yes, geometry nodes, that is the issue for most people. Um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.